course, with our resident chef, Alison Davis from Wild Time. This is hot, hot. here. Um, we must be grilling pineapple by the looks of it. We're going to put another shrimp on the bar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It didn't even sound so right. Bad. I, it I, mean, I can't do any yeah. accent. I'm Give trying, it up. I've tried to do like an um, English accent before, and it's horrid. Did, well, I'm not. I'm from Australia. I know you're Australian. So oh. I've tried to do. <laughs> I'm like, I know, dear. <laughs> okay, tell us what we're making today. All right, actually, before you stab me with the knife. This sounds tropical, but this is actually more of like a Spanish uh, dessert. Um, oh. I took it out of uh, Mario Batali's cookbook. He did a cookbook. Um, there was a PBS special show that they did with Gwyneth Paltrow, and they went through Spain and yep. toured it. Oh, nice. It was not that great, and the oh. book was not that great. But this is one of the best recipes that I've gotten out of it okay and um, it's one that I love that I've done over and over again and it's super simple um, the flavors though just mm, they Yummy. just wow all right mm -hmm. give me a whirl well the first thing we're gonna start with is this guy pineapple yeah <laughs> yeah I'm like is that a trick question no the pineapple do you know how you check to see if they're fresh I buy it frozen I mean um, already cut up from Whole Foods um, just oh. pull your when the, when you go by, I'll pull a leaf, and if the leaves are coming out nice and easy, then it's ripe. But it's green. No, nope, it's good to go. Wow. Nice and juicy. Well, I'm sure people at home knew that. Not everyone's as crazy as me, and don't and know more things. So I start uh, by first just ta taking off the top and the yep. bottom to kind of square it off, and then we're going to. There's nothing better than a sweet. Juicy pineapple. I am with you. Yeah. Um, and I love the core. You know, like with your mango, like where you yep. just take it. We'll, yep. we'll go off camera and do that, but yep. just to hurt. Not I agree. Off. Um, so then you just start cutting, you know, around yep. the eyes. Around the what? I guess I call them like the eyes. Oh, like, okay. So you want to get into where you don't really I just have feel that. you waste so much pineapple. No. I know, but it just feels like you do. There's not much pineapple I know, there. I know, I know. But you do feel like, I guess, that you get more. I mean, it's kind of like a mango. You feel like you're going to get so much when you see a big you mango. And the pit is huge. Yeah, so then what I do is I just basically will start cutting around the core. Oh, okay. Right? And so that gives me kind of a flat side to work with. Yep. And then we're just going to go with some kind of rather so you're doing medium like, size oh, to you're large dicing them. Yeah, chunks. Okay. All right. Gosh, this is hot. It's hot for a reason. Now, pineapples are full of sugar, right? They've got some oh, nice they're gonna sugar caramelize. in it. They're going to caramelize beautifully on the grill. Yeah, I thought you were telling me to stand You back. don't have to oil them down. You don't have to really do anything. But all those natural sugars are really going to caramelize really nicely on yep. the grill. Nice. Do I need to turn them over? Um, we want to give them a few minutes just to kind of let oh, them in. Oh, it smells that work. gorgeous. Now, what we're going to do with this is we are going to add some lime zest once they come off. Yep. So I'm just going to zest this guy just a little bit. That's a big grater. It is. When you are zesting, just make sure that you don't go too far in on the lime yeah. because then it will get super bitter and sour on you. You just want okay. the zest right off the top. Good. And then the secret ingredient with this guy once these come off yep. is we're going to drizzle some molasses. I love molasses. You do? Oh my gosh. Did you grow up with molasses? Yes. Okay. We used to put it in the horse's feed on the farm because it used to give them a shiny coat. Oh, you know so much. I know. You have so much interesting <laughs> like knowledge. Here's the thing. I can talk about most things for three and minutes. I think that's pretty fitting here in, this, in Kentucky I know. too. That's good to know. I know. And then I've got to go to commercial break. After three minutes, my knowledge is done. <laughs> I, I don't know anything else. Yeah, somebody will start prying you for another I'm like, question. What? And you're like, well, wait, wait, wait. That's, that's what I knew. <laughs> that's all I know. Oops. I give quick, fast, fun facts, and I'm done. Do you like that? I do. Okay, so. So why don't you start kind of flipping yeah, this I'm over? Gonna flip. You see how you just get the beautiful grill marks? Again, nothing oh, on them. those, but that's just the caramelization <gasps> of the sugars um, in the pineapple. Oh, they look gorgeous. I know. But you know what I would have done with this? What? I would have kept. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just kept them in a long strip. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Could do that too. Yeah. I think that would look really pretty when it, when you're plating it up. All right. It's even too hot to flip. It really, it, I mean, and just for the people at home, 
This is not just a grill. This is just a cast iron grill pan that we're using over a high heat. So right. when you're at home or if it's still cold outside and you don't want to go to the grill, the cast iron grill pan is getting hot. He's like, okay, I'm Can done. I just say one thing? Uh -huh. I don't know what the big deal is when men say they're out at the barbecue. Who wants to sweat like no tomorrow out at the barbecue in the middle of summer? <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm inside air conditioning, and I'm like, I'm it's America. Done. We love barbecue. And no, I get it, but they, the and men are like, let's go out and barbecue. Yeah, great, go. Well, maybe it's a chance to just get your neighbors over and just have people over, and maybe not in your house, but outside. <laughs> yes, but then I would make a phone call saying, hey, Allison, uh -huh. I got 10 for lunch. <laughs> Hey, while it. we're plating all this up and doing that, if you want to head over to wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, um, click on the recipe tab, everyone, because you're going to find all the stuff that Allison and I get up to. And remember, I did say we're going to start going downtown and finding a few oh, restaurants and delis great. that I want us to find. Hey, and this, so this is looking so stores. yummy. Oh, and then here, look at that. That's ab oh, I love molasses. I'm gonna have a teaspoon of molasses just on its own. Oh, the horses for love his molasses. shiny coat. <laughs> we'll be back after this short break. <laughs> <laughs>